All right, YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Fast Gadgets. Uh, today, I am bringing you this episode from what we in Michigan call up north. So basically, um, in the lower peninsula, anything past uh, southeast Michigan, um, most Michiganders call up north. Um, and as you can see, it's very different than uh, city life. So where I'm from in southeast Michigan, uh, definitely much busier and you get used to the city life, but every once in a while you want to get away from it. So my wife and I decided to come and enjoy a cabin up north. Uh, literally, we are out in the back 40. We're so far out, as a matter of fact, that there is no internet here. Um, we do have power and we have somewhat heated water. And on the other side of the camp here, on the, on the other side of the cabin, is an outhouse. So definitely different. So the video I'm gonna to talk to you today about is what do I do when I'm off the grid? What kind of technology do I bring when I'm off the grid? So I'm gonna pull out everything I've got here in my bag of tricks and just show you what I do when I'm off the grid. First things, of course, you need several chargers. Um, I have cables, headphones. I always bring a USB hub just in case. Um, handy dandy flashlight because it does get very dark over here. Uh, some extension cables couple other things and of course what would be most important well we have to have computer systems don't we one of my favorite computer systems to bring is believe it or not this Lenovo uh, 11.6 inch yoga 2 uh, the reason I bring this one is one it's extremely light so it weighs just about two and a half pounds I believe um, it's very thin and I also have a protective cover for it which I can take off if I want to flip it over and turn it into a tablet the other cool thing about it is it's full of ports so it's got a USB 3.0 it has a card slot for memory reading it's got a uh, mini HDMI out. I'm not sure if you can see that with the light and It also has a USB port on the other side uh, Headphones, it's got a button for volume up and down and a couple of other things power button and so on So this is my major go-to machine When I want to travel light and I'm gonna be off the grid the cool thing about this system is That and I don't think you can probably see the screen too well Right now it's booted into Linux. Uh, so this is a dual boot system. It's got 500 gigabyte uh, SSHD. So I can dual boot into uh, Windows if I want to, or I can boot into Linux. And I've got several utilities and tools that I'll use on this particular system. Now for my wife, I packed her new computer, which I have not done a review of yet, but I plan on doing which is a MacBook Air. And a little bit dirty. And it came up and it's already booted up. Uh, this is the, I believe, either the 2013 or 2014 model. Let's find out. I do apologize for how dark it is. All right, so if I do an about this Mac, very hard for me to see. Just give me one second. About this Mac, there we go. Okay, so it is, no, oh, it doesn't say here, what do you know? For some reason I was thinking it used to say here what edition it was. Uh, maybe that's in one of these other tabs. Well, 
anyway, I think it's a either a 2013 or um, a 2014 edition. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabyte SSD, and it does have. I put some tools on it for me. I've got iMovie on this. Um, it's got Office on it. Pretty much loaded. Good system to use. With that and with this one, um, on this system here, it's actually an i3. Uh, I installed a program that some of you may know of called KDEN Live, which is a video editing program. It actually works pretty well. I used it on my uh, Yoga 2 Pro i7, which of course is going to have much better performance. But um, overall, I don't have too many complaints. It seems to do a pretty good job. Uh, it's a good editor, does the basics, does everything I need. So these are my two systems that I brought with me. I always have two. Um, normally I have a tablet, but I did not bring the tablet this time. Uh, my thinking is when we're out here off the grid, what's the point in having the tablet? Because we really don't have access to the internet so it's not like we can do a whole lot with it uh, unless we have the applications um, standalone running on the tablet now uh, another thing that I like to bring this is a Toshiba uh, let's see if we can find out what the model number is part number HDTC 720 XX 3C1 this is a two terabyte model and what I have on this first of all is document backups and the second thing I have on it is probably about a terabyte's worth of um, videos, movies, other things that I have that I own and the other thing I have on it is a music collection so this drive basically has everything I'm going to need. It also has software on it. It has ISOs. So if I wanted to do an install while I was here, say of Linux or test Linux, I could put it inside a virtual machine. Um, this system has VirtualBox running and this system does not have any virtualization software. I'll have to do that at some point. On my Mac 2011, I actually do use um, VMware Fusion, but I also have VirtualBox set up. And of course, a portable mouse, but unlucky me, I actually forgot to bring the dongle for it. So, can't use that, but it really doesn't bother me that much. All right, now, the next thing that I have, another cable here for a drive. I have a older 500 gigabyte portable hard drive and this particular drive is so old I actually have scratched off the model number and other information about it um, but it's a Western Digital 500 gigabyte and what I use this drive for is backing up all of my um, video so any raw footage that I shoot I like to copy it off of the phone and put it onto a drive to keep it backed up what I found out um, you know, you might drop your phone, you might damage it and not have access to it if you haven't saved it to an external card. So this drive here, primarily uh, what I use it for is video backup, actually only video backup. So this is my media drive, and then this one is my backup. Now I have a third drive here. This is a newer uh, Western Digital Elements. This drive uh, actually is my work drive. So uh, I teach for four different colleges. So I have uh, documents that I need <clears throat> for teaching. I keep many, many ISOs because many of the classes I teach, we build Linux systems, we build Windows systems, we build servers, and I keep plenty of different uh, ISOs on here, including older versions. You would be surprised how far back some of these institutions go. So um, when the curriculum is developed, they may be on um, Windows 8, for example, or Server 2008 R2, 
and I have to have all those ISOs. Sometimes it needs to be 32-bit, sometimes it needs to be the 64-bit. It just really depends. So I have that drive, and then um, if I want to make a bootable um, thumb drive, of course I have a couple of thumb drives here. This one's a USB 3 32 gigabyte. I really like it. I have a couple of 128 gigabytes, but I actually didn't even bother to bring those. Then I have a really old 32 gigabyte USB 2 and a newer um, 32 gigabyte USB 2. So all of those I use uh, depending on what I need it for. Now, what's interesting is this drive here this is my backup drive that I was mentioning. This is actually formatted um, as a uh, journal file system for Mac. So this is the Mac file system. And I have found that my trusty Linux installation can read and write to this drive just fine, which is awesome. So I have access to that content. And I'm going to need it later because I think I will edit a video in Kden Live, and I'll probably make a video on that as well. Um, so Linux is really versatile. If I plug in an NTFS drive, which this one is, I can read and write to it. Um, if I plug in this drive, which is a Mac OS, I can read and write to this drive just fine. So definitely a plus. Ah, I found another thumb drive. I thought something would have fallen out. I have a older 2 gigabyte drive. And what else do I have? Well, that's about it as far as technology goes. And of course, I have the phone that I'm holding now. Um, I meant to bring my tripod, but I forgot my tripod. So I kind of have to wing it, but that's okay. I mean, after all, I'm on vacation. <laughs>